Oh my gosh, just look at the light right now. It is flat calm. The sea is so, so still. You can see all the way over the sea to the other side and you can see the Scottish Highland Mountains with the beautiful light. We're just coming up to golden hour and it is simply sublime. And of course, I'm out and I'm off to see if I can capture it. Let's go. So one of the most challenging things, excuse the aeroplane noise there, but one of the most challenging things about being an outdoor YouTube vlogger is not the, the filming or the photography, it's the audio. Now this microphone I have, the dead cat or the wind map or whatever you want to call it, is forever falling off and it's just fallen off again and I'm now walking around trying to find it. I should really get myself an elastic band or something to keep it on, but really it should be made in a way that it stays on to be fair. But anyway, this is the most challenging thing. You'll hear people say it all the time, they go out and the audio doesn't work for one reason or another or uh, it's full of wind noise and can't be used. And for me, my biggest issue is the wind muff forever falling off. So let's go and see if I can find it in the hope that I can before all of the light has disappeared. Oh, come on. Where is it? Oh, I found it. And the sunset's kicking off. Ah. The best of the golden light was well and truly gone, but those clouds definitely have interest. So I'm going to get out my telephoto lens that goes up to 400 millimeters, zoom down the beach and try and incorporate some of those gorgeous clouds in amongst people walking along the beach and just see if I can salvage some of the last remaining bits of this light before we, we head into the gorgeous twilight hour. Yeah. Shame to have missed that sunset, but there's always photographic opportunities, always. incredible. When I was up there in the sand dunes, I wasn't getting a very good vantage point. I was looking down on the beach, which meant I wasn't able to capture the people silhouetted against the beautiful sky. So I've come now onto the beach itself and what that's allowing me to do is get right down on the same level as the people. And by zooming in, I'm getting images of them silhouetted against the sky. And because they're so far away and they're just silhouettes, you can't identify them. That's something I always try and do if I ever photograph people is I ensure that they're silhouettes of some sort so that you can't identify the people. And what I'm doing is I'm taking a few different styles of images here, some with them silhouetted with a gorgeous sky above them and some with them silhouetted with the, the, the beach in the scene instead. So we've got the lovely reflections. And I'm using a relatively shallow depth of field for this. I'm on f7.1. Firstly, because I'm hand-holding with my long lens, so I want to ensure my shutter speed is fast enough to allow me to, to not have a blurred image. Uh, but secondly, because I'm loving the, the effect that that's having here with some of the foreground blurred out. It's allowing the people to really stand out in the frame. Do you know, I thought I'd missed the best of light, but I certainly hadn't. And this just proves a point here. It's well worth staying out after sunset. Don't pack up your gear when the sun sets and if you've missed the golden light. This is stunning and it's well, well worth photographing.
bloody hell. It's happened again. And this time, it's on the wet sand. Hi, Renarian. So it was literally only two minutes ago I last spoke to you. That light disappeared so quickly. It was only out for two or three minutes, that gorgeous purpley light, and then it just disappeared. It really shows, I guess, the whole, this whole video has shown that you've really got to utilise the light when it's there because it literally does disappear in a matter of minutes and sometimes even seconds. And I've now got another gear malfunction or issue. For some reason, out of nowhere, some dust of some sort has somehow got onto my mirrorless sensor. And I'll film a little video now to show you. You can see there's little specks of things in my scene, which is really, really annoying. But hey, I'm obviously not going to clean my sensor in the middle of a beach. And that would be very daft. So I think I'm going to call it a, an afternoon. So that light was very fleeting, but it was well worth capturing. So I hope this video shows the, the importance of no matter what happens when you're out and about with your camera, just embrace it, just enjoy it and see what you can capture. I may have missed that gorgeous golden light on the sand dunes, but I think I managed to salvage this shoot by getting that beautiful reflections of that gorgeous purpley coloured clouds on the on the beach there. And despite my technical difficulties this afternoon, I've not allowed it to stop me. I think that's a good place to end this video. Don't let any te technical difficulties stop you from getting out and doing photography. And don't let any, what you may perceive as insufficient gear, stop you getting out either. No matter what camera you have, even if it's simply the camera on your phone, just use it to get out and do photography. Because just being out in nature and connecting with it is so incredibly good for you. It's so, it's just such a lovely thing to do. And it just makes you feel so much calmer, so much more relaxed, and so much more connected with the beautiful natural world that we live in. So yeah, don't let these technical difficulties stop you. Just like me tonight with my issues with this blooming microphone, which I've now taken the wind map off of it. So I'm really hoping that the, the footage has not been destroyed by wind noise. And the other technical difficulties of my sensor being dirty stop me from doing photography. Because at the end of the day, these are just minor difficulties and minor setbacks. But ultimately, if you don't let the anger and the frustration get to you, you can still enjoy beautiful evenings like this and take a beautiful photograph home to remember it by. As always, I want to say a huge thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you all again next time.